Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for Between Time Escape Room. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Nimbiel, Mrs. Cloud. So this game is developed and published by MC2 Games and Escape Room fans will remember them from previous titles such as Palindrome Syndrome and Tested on Humans. So once again this is an escape room game and this time you get to travel through time, explore some mysterious places, solve puzzles, decode secret codes and find hidden objects and treasure. Cool. We yep. always enjoy escape room games. Yeah. We have new game, load options and credits. Let's take a look at the options. We've got the language as well as subtitles. We've got audio, master, music, ambience, sound effects and voices. And then controls, you can set keyboard or joystick, WSAD, mouse sensitivity, inventory, diary, escape, pause, run, as well as invert, uh, look Y, and finally graphics, low, medium, or high, and then resolution. So pretty straightforward, I'm assuming it uses the same uh, engine as the previous two titles. So let's take a look at Between Time. Hmm. It's been easier than I expected. I've hardly seen any security. Well, <laughs> next objective to find that time machine. Yes, yeah, so it looks like we broke into this time machine laboratory and are now on the quest to steal a time machine. It was easier than expected. That's rather worrying, I would say. Hmm. Warning, restricted area, keep out, authorized personnel only, time flux generator, no photos. Mm. Always wondered what a time flux generator looks like. <laughs> like that, apparently. I can say, please say I never imagined it like this. Mm, no. Okay, so this is closed. This is closed. Where did I even get in? Here. Okay. Right off the bat, I see a periodic table of elements mm -hmm. with 118 elements. Unfortunately, in school, I knew all 500 Pokemon, but not any of the periodic table. So that's <laughs> where my priorities laid. Yeah. Okay, see, there's two missing symbols here. Do you know which ones they are? No. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a keypad here, six digits and a circle marked one two three so it's not clockwise or anti-clockwise it's semi-random okay so not sure what to do here and we've got a a marked on this cabinet and then we have whatever this is it almost looks like domino yeah pieces and then up top each row and column Contains three black and three white circles and is unique. More than two of the same color can't be adjacent. Okay, this should be easy enough using those criteria. So I think we're probably going to start with this mm -hmm. puzzle first, but let's just take a look what's what else is here. What else is here. Got an A and a B, some colored buttons, and some slides over there. We've got a time travel consequences diagram here on a PC, got a clipboard, start of the AITMA, Artificial Intelligence Time Machine Assistant Project, was in 2025. <laughs> Two years later, the first time travel in animals has been a success. We proceed with the experimentation in humans and start working on the artificial intelligence system. 2029, we've achieved the most advanced artificial intelligence on the planet with access to a global database and deep learning algorithms. With the empathy module, it will achieve an almost human behavior. Hmm. And then the very next, what's this month? First time travel experiment with humans has gone wrong. They haven't returned yet. The project is temporarily at standstill and the facilities are under military surveillance. Okay. Something went wrong there. I think we can do with the AI right now to help us out with the puzzles. Time travel materials and two five four six two nine one as well as some dials. Then we've got time travel materials data, which is a bunch of symbols. 
What's that? Got some holes in this cabinet. A locked door, which I assume leads to the next room. And then a lock, which is protecting something with a nuclear symbol. I don't know if it's a good idea to actually open that up. Open that up. And yeah, that looks like it's oh, here's another A and B combination lock. So it's got something to do with so there's a A. As B, maybe something to do with that. To combine this outcome. Something up here as well. P is E L A. E doesn't look like it spells out anything. Okay, so this is just the first room, and already, if you are not a puzzle fan or escape room fan, you might be intimidated by all of this. But Best solution is usually to take things from a point and work your way towards a solution. So we can see here, you're not allowed. Okay, only three of each in a row and column, and no more than two of the same adjacent. So we can see this one already has three whites, which means the rest must all be black, black correct? Yeah. And then we've got three black here, so that means logically the rest has to be. White. white. Same here, we've got three white, so this must be black. Black. Three black, so this must be white. White. Where does this pattern continue? We have to have uh, there's like three black there, we have to have white next to it because Which three, one? Like this yeah, that row that this one. This uh, is already column. Good column the third column from the left as one yeah okay yeah the... now we've got three white in that row second from the bottom those are black got three black here so these are white mm -hmm. three white in here so these ones are not one that's two there you are Two blacks that have to have a white in between. Yeah, that must be white, and we've got three whites then, so that must be black. Black. Just double checking that they. Yeah, correct. these are all white already, so this must be black and black and white. Black. White black. and moment of truth. Black. Something happened somewhere. Something lit up on that. Oh, this lit up. So now these little domino looking things have got glowing spots on them that's yellow and purple. And yellow and purple and yellow and purple. Okay, so obviously this combination means something. So if I follow the rules of dominoes, we've got six, three, four, one, five, two. And they alternate colors. So um, just double check. Yeah, six, three, four, one, five, two. I think it's a code or a color combination. Okay, these are yellow. purple and yellow. Started with yellow. Right, mm -hmm. so six, three, four, one, five, two. That was it. Oh. Tempest. Wow. <laughs> okay. Impressive. I've played the previous two games in this series. But <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling it's going to get a lot tougher, but this thing I open now is empty. And there's Not one. One, five. five. Seven, three. Two, 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 and three. three. So that clearly means something somewhere else in this room. With this thing, A and B, it's maybe got something to do with this. These two things. Yeah. So it looks like we can drag these slides onto this. Thing here. 
Mm -hmm. so I'm assuming it's going to be like a puzzle week with the edges first. Oh, and then. Oh, yes. Okay. So we've got something here. So that will be the numbers that you could see there. And there's the white spots. Which number? Like then in B. Yeah. Aren't there three? You have to add those numbers together. It's like a sum. The it's numbers. Minus, plus, and multiply. So which way do you get the numbers? Inside the, the cabinet. This one? Yeah. And then where do those numbers go? You have to make sums with them, I think. Okay, so A is... The one cabinet and B is the other one. So we have to look at the B. So the top one is multiply and then plus and minus. So if you multiply 2 and 3 you get 6. But uh, 1, 5, 6 and 7 and 2 is 5. So it's 6, 6, 5. Yeah, multiply plus and minus. So it would be 6, 6, 5 for B. This mm -hmm. six six. Now we're not going to know until we get A. Yeah, whether we which were correct. <laughs> that periodic table. Mm -hmm. Time travel coincidence consequences fate multiple timelines infinite loops. And there are little symbols everywhere on that. Yeah, I see that. And this is time travel that that looks a bit like those holes, don't you think? Mm-hmm. It's two at the bottom, two here, two next to each other, and just see. Yeah, it's the yeah, there you go. symbols. Yeah. Okay, so it is this. So bottom is this round, and then that one. You're going to remember those symbols. <laughs> so this one, and this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it's like a square with a smaller square in it. So this one. So and then there's an I next to that one. This one. Okay, so that's that that's the I on this side would be this swirl and then that thing. Use this. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. In a row. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What do we have in here? We have a key, a brass key. I've only seen one lock in this room. Mm. Where is it now? There on the yeah. the nuclear. Oh dear. Are we going to explode now? I don't think they're going to keep a nuclear bomb inside. What is this? Okay, something is missing. So you need another need to piece. solve another puzzle to get that next piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that basically leaves this thing here. Mm -hmm. And then the periodic table. periodic table thing. I think we've... Isn't there another cabinet above the other PC? Of the other, sorry, not the PC, the black and white puzzle that we did. This one. Yeah. It's okay. a cabinet, but it doesn't look like we can... Ah, open okay. it. Just uh, thought we missed it. No, it doesn't look like it. So whatever this is has to do with whatever these symbols are and then these buttons. Two five four six two nine one. It's like up or down. Up down, left, right. Do you think no. what's the five is more than four, than two, less than four, less than six. I guess you have uh, to look at, at time travel materials data to get the... This one. Yeah. Materials data, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Grid with numbers. Mm. What do they mean? Yeah, there must be some so pattern one, to them. There's a lot of fours in the first row. 
but I'm not seeing a clear clear pattern here. Wish I could get into this one so I can figure out if we were right with this one. <laughs> yeah. But also, we don't want to give away all the puzzles in this game. Yeah. It will be coming out tomorrow. So if you like your escape room games and you like some decent puzzles that's going to tax your problem-solving skills, I would say give Between Time a chance and go do some time traveling. Yeah, go do some time traveling. See five different places in human history. And if you enjoyed uh, Palindrome Syndrome and Tested on Humans, you know exactly what to expect from this game. It is going to test your problem-solving skills, but it's always going to do it in a logical manner. None of the puzzles always look very obscure, but once you understand what's going on, they do make sense. So yeah, thanks for joining us for our first look at Between Time Escape Room. And full review will be up as soon as we have conquered this game. Yeah. Till next time. Thank you. Remember to like, subscribe and share if you enjoy our videos. Bye. Bye.